Number 11 from the 2009 Advanced Tire. What have we got here? The curve, and there's its expression there. Notice you've got an exponential type function there. You have to obtain the values of y and the derivative of y with respect to x when x equals 1. Well, the first part is easy because that's ready to go. If x equals 1, then straight away y is just going to be replaced the x's by 1. So it'll be 1 to the power. And of course, it doesn't matter what power you put down. Any power of 1 is 1. Look, I've started, so finish. Times 1 squared plus 1, which gives me 1. So y equals 1. There's the first part. Didn't mean it to be, look quite so diminutive. Now, the next part, what about the derivative? Well, straight away, I've got these exponents here. The way I'll get at those exponents is by applying logs. So I'm going to do some logarithmic differentiation here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take the logs of both sides. So I've got ln y equals ln of x to the 2x squared plus 1. That power can be extracted as a multiple, so 2x squared plus 1 times ln x. There we are. That's taking the logarithms of both sides. Now differentiate it. So ln of whatever it operates on produces 1 over whatever it operates on. If that thing itself is a function of x, I'll then have to multiply by the derivative of that with respect to x. And that was indeed the case with y, because y was quickly the function of x. Equals, and on this side I've got a product, so I'll be using the product rule. So I'll differentiate this first. So in that expression, that just comes to 4x, and I'll then multiply the ln x, and then I'll leave that one alone, since it performed its function admirably there, and proceed to differentiate this one, which again is just 1 over whatever it operates on, but that was just x itself, so it just stops there. Now, strictly speaking, since this question just says, evaluate dy by dx when x is 1, I don't really need to sort that out anymore, because I already know that y is 1, so this part here is 1. So everything's just going to get filled with 1s. So I could just go ahead and get the answer for dy by dx by carrying out my substitution now. I could just say x equals 1, y equals 1, because it didn't, it didn't ask me for a nice refined solution for dy by dx, and then just go in with what? So I've got 1 over 1 times dy by dx, which is the incredible shrinking y I've got here, equals, and that'll just be 4 times 1, times ln 1, plus 2 times 1 squared, plus 1 times 1 over 1. And that was me just taking all that time to put those 1s in. You could have done it by inspection, of course. And then what does that come to? Well, that's just 1. So I've got dy by dx equals, well, ln of 1 is just 0. And that part there, that's just going to be 2 plus 1 is 3, and that's 1. So dy by dx simply equals 3. And that would be it done. Because strictly speaking, I didn't need to tidy that up. If I had wanted to tidy that up, but that's the question finished now, then what I could have done would be take that y across so that would have dy by dx equals this bundle here, 4x ln x plus 2x squared plus 1, I'll just put that over the x so it takes up less room, times y, which would then be 4x ln x plus 2x squared plus 1 all over x times the original expression x to the 2x squared plus 1 tidy up further by putting that 4x into that and making it ln of x to the 4x, but I don't think I would do that. So you could have tidied that into that first and then put the numbers in, but it would have made no difference. You're simply just, as soon as you've got your expression, put in the numbers, because then it's just a matter of arithmetic. That's just count up in your fingers.